What will be your role in this defense? Uh, you know, we come in here every day, say, do your job. My job is, you know, eliminate explosive plays and take the ball away from the offense. That's my job here. Why does this defense fit what you do, what Sanusi does? Yeah, I feel like I feel like it just gives us the opportunity to, to make those big plays, you know. Uh, you know, just me having the ability to guard, you know, Noose coming downhill, being able to guard as well. I feel like it just fits into what we can do as players. And like I said, we're just going to do our job and do it to the best of our ability. How tough it with the scissor was a key to come back for a fifth year. Uh, no, I, I knew. I knew right when Coach Walters got the job, I was going to be here and, you know, uh, Purdue's been owned to me. I never thought about switching up or nothing like that. I love the fans, just the environment. Yeah, but Purdue's a great place for me. What connects with you and Coach Walters where he's been in your shoes, you know, played the same position that I'm sure there's a lot of things you can bounce off of him? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, uh, for me, just looking at him, I like his swag. And for me, I, I like to play with swag. So, I mean, he, he tells us to be confident in our play, and I feel like that's how I am. And uh, a whole bunch of guys on the defense, so, you know, uh, yeah, just going back to doing our job and doing it with confidence. Did you like Coach Brom's swag? Totally different kind of swag, probably, if there wasn't. He had, yeah, he had a little bit different type of swag, but I ain't going to say I ain't like it. Uh, yeah, I like Coach Brom. No, no. The Coach Walters does better shoes at. Oh, yeah, Coach Walters be putting those shoes on every day. I'm trying to get him. Let me go look in his closet a little bit. <laughs> they talk a lot about how they cross train the defensive backs. Is something that's been taking place you guys can think corner and safety? Yeah, I just feel like, uh, you know, we got a bunch of guys that can do a whole bunch of different things. So, I mean, uh, the new coaching staff, they just want to see what, what different guys can do in certain positions. You know, uh, uh, we're just all going there with the right mindset, you know, just uh, to do what the coaches ask us to do. And, you know, like I said, just do it to the best of your ability. You anticipate there'll be a lot of that early in camp, these first couple of weeks, just, you know, moving around and seeing where, where yeah, it's fit. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, Coach Walters, he wants to put the best 11 on the field, so. Whatever ways he finds that, you know, the uh, defensive staff, offensive staff, whoever, best 11 on the field. Have you come up with something to call this defense yet? Coach Walter says it's not a, you know, generic 3-4 or anything like that. It's, it's not a, you know. I, th I mean, I think we're on, I think we on the verge of calling this something right now, some, uh, something to dealing with, dealing with Buller defense or something like that. But, no, nah, right now I think we just, you know, uh, hitting the core values of this whole program and just making sure we're hitting on that stuff first and coming out here and locking in and just making sure. The details are all right right now. When you saw what he and Coach Kane did at Illinois, how much excitement is there for, like, man, we could really, with the guys we have on this defense, transform into into a powerhouse on that side of the ball? Yeah, most definitely. You know, just last year, just knowing they had a top defense, uh, mostly the whole season, stuff like that. Uh, that's where me and uh, the guys want to be. We want to be the top of the uh, in the nation. So, I mean, we're going to listen to them, do our jobs, and uh, get a whole bunch of turnovers like they did last year. That's, it's a green relay. I'm rolling out through that tunnel for the two storm. Oh, I can't wait. And it, this is for me personally. Uh, this is the last year, so I mean, just going out there, embracing it all. I know the fans; they gonna uh, do their things, and yeah, the, all the new tunnel. Uh, this is gonna be a little different, you know. Probably the uh, excitement gonna be up a little bit more, but yeah, just running the Ross Aid. It's just a different building. Pick to finish sixth in the West. I'm sure that's a man. That's a slight because you guys were just in the championship game last year. How much of a chip on your shoulder is there? I'm going to say we love huh. Marcus just said you have changed championship aspirations and, and want to do more than last year. So is that the mindset you have to take into the camp? Oh, yeah. The mindset here is straight work. That's all we want to do is work. I mean, yeah, of course, uh, we, we go in here, we, we talk about certain things here and there in the locker room and stuff like that. But, yeah, honestly, I like Mar what Marcus said. I mean, straight work, that's what we do, and everything else is just going to happen in the head. They have a lot of new faces in the back end, um, we pry for transfers at JC. Has that has, has anyone really caught your eye in the newcomers? I feel like honestly, all of them just coming in. I feel like they all they they want to learn. Um, today, Bo, he I feel like Bo made a whole bunch of plays today. Uh, I don't think he got a ball caught on him. So that really stood out on the first day of practice. But like I said, all of them came in. You know, they want to they want to learn and they want to learn from us. And we gonna learn as much as we can from them too. Cause like you said, coming in from different places, you know, maybe having different stuff to teach us and stuff like that. So, yes, it's really about all togetherness. We all want to come together as one, communicate as one, and just, you know, do it as a team.